Hello guys and welcome to the Gontu series. This tutorial is in continuation to the previous tutorial where we went through the Hibernate configuration file. We went through hibernate.cfg.xml file and talked about all the essential properties which are needed for creation of a basic Hibernate Java application. In this tutorial, we'll create a model class student info which we want to store or persist into the database. Let's start. Go to source, right click and create a new class with the name student info. Give a name to the package. Click on finish. Let's have just two variables in the class roll number and name of the student which we would be storing or persisting into the roll number and name column of the student's information table in the database. Let's generate the getters and setters. Done. There are two ways using which you can use this model class to interact with the database using the hibernate way. First is using the annotations. And the second is using the XMLs. In this demo, I'll be using annotations and we'll look at using XMLs in the later tutorials. If you're using annotations, there are two mandatory annotations which we need to include in this class. The first annotation is at the rate entity and the second one is at the rate ID annotation. Let's include at the rate entity annotation. Let's include the import for at the rate entity annotation. Done. At the rate entity annotation tells Hibernate that the class is an entity, that is, a class written to persist or hold data into or from the database. Let's include the second mandatory annotation at the rate ID. Let's include the import for this. Address ID annotation is to specify the primary key. And since roll number is a unique number to every student, I've applied address ID annotation to the roll number field in this model class. We are done with the model class creation. There are many more annotations in Hibernate using which you can use more or advanced features of Hibernate. One very important thing to note over here is when you would pass this model class object to the Hibernate functions for storing or persisting the object into the database table, it would save in the student underscore info table by default. That is in the table with the same name as the class name. If you want to save this model class object to a database table with some other name, you can mention that using the add the rate table annotation. So let's apply that. This annotation lies at the class level. Let's include the import for this. Control Shift O. Choose the Java X persistence table. Now after writing this annotation, I've told Hibernate whenever I pass this object for saving or deleting the record or performing any other database operation, just consider the student underscore information table. Now the only step remaining is to specify the name of this annotated model class in the Hibernate configuration file. So let's quickly do it. Go to the hibernate.cfg.xml file and write this model class name along with the package information here.
In your Hibernate project, you can create as many model classes as you want, but you need to mention the name of all such model classes here in the Hibernate configuration file, like this. We are done with the model class creation. In the next tutorial, we'll look at writing code to persist or store this model class into the database.